Always begin by applying one shot primer. White AMIG 2022 was applied from the bottle, undiluted, and applied in thin layers. For the base color, interior green AMIG 0270 was used. Diluted by 30% with acrylic thinner AMIG 2000. Cover the airbrush nozzle and mix directly in the cup and apply in thin layers. Using yellow AMIG 048 slightly lightened with matte white AMIG 0050, highlights were applied to the panels. The shader color dark green AMIG 0866 was used to make shadows. Shaders even allow you to easily add subtle dirt effects. With an application of Aqua Gloss Clear, the base color was sealed and prepared for the weathering. The next step was to add dark brown wash for green vehicles. The wash was applied with a fine brush to outline the details of the cabin. Enamel Odorless Thinner AMIG 2018 was used to remove any excess wash. Matte Lucky Varnish AMIG 2055 was used to protect the previous work and provide a matte finish. Next, the Dio Dry Brush Color Medium Green was used for the dry brush technique by first unloading the brush on an absorbent paper and then gently rubbing the edges until the details were highlighted. Using Ultra Glue AMIG 2031, the photo etch details were placed. It is important to sand the back of the photo etch for proper adhesion to the plastic. With a blade, the cut was made as close as possible to the piece. Using a brush, Ultra Glue was applied to the plastic surface. Ultra Glue AMIG 2031 allows you time to place the photo etch piece before it dries. The same process was used for the instrument panel's photo etch detail. Ultra Glue was also used for the acetate. Once dry, the acetate was cut with a knife. This piece was then glued to the rest of the instrument panel. With Aqua Gloss Clear, authentic lenses were added to the panel. The color gray shadow Ammo F517 and a fine brush were used to apply chipping on the metal seat and sides of the cabin. The pigment color Vietnam Earth was used to add subtle dirt to the area. Using a round tipped brush, the pigment was applied to the floor and sides. The excess pigment was then removed with a flat brush. By rubbing with gunmetal pigment AMIG 3009, the bluing effect was accurately added to the weapons. At this stage, the cabin was finished and ready for the assembly process to continue.